Hello again. Uh, let's continue our uh, tutorial about uh, draggable uh, UI, uh, jQuery UI. Uh, we have seen uh, in previous uh, lecture uh, the basic setup of the draggable uh, object. We have seen also uh, how to add draggable options, and uh, we we, uh, we have seen uh, using helpers. And in this lecture, uh, we're gonna see how to use event with draggable object. Uh, so this is the basic page of our example. Let's save and open it in browser to see it. We have our draggable object. Add some options on it. Let's say we want to add cursor to move. Let's add containment. We see, we see, we have seen containment in previous lecture. Container. Uh, let's create this container. Let's add to it this style. With the height of the height pixel and border to our pixel solid and red. Let's see it. Add a comma here and it's constrained to our container. So let's see now the different event available for draggable objects often when the user drags an element you want to know when the dragging has started and stopped as well as a new position of the element and we can achieve this by using events draggable object have Uh, four different events we have the create event it take it take an event handler an event handler this create event it is fired when first the draggable element is first created by calling draggable we have also the event start the start event take also an event handler and the start event is fired when the user first start dragging the element we have also to drag event and it is fired when the user drag drag dragging 
the element also take an event handler and finally we have the stop event also take event handler and it is fired when the user lets go the mouse button after dragging the element so let's create those four those four events first of all let's create the event handler function the event handler function it's like this event handler it take two parameters the parameter one is the event and the second one is the UI parameter the UI parameter is representing the element get dragged and this is the element and we could access this UI this UI parameter has different property it has the property of the helper and we saw the helper it has also the property of the position it could be the top position of the dragged element uh, and this is the position uh, relative to the element original position this is relative to the original to the original element element position and could take also left and also UI have offset top or left and it represents the position of the dragged element relative to the top left top So let's comment this. So let's fire the create function. Let's call event handler one and let's call it event handler one and let's say console dot log element element created let's open let's inspect element and show the console the console and then refresh the page and when 
the element call draggable function when the draggable call it show element create so let's now create the start event when the start when the user start dragging it's fired when the user start dragging the object Let's copy then time two. Let's delete this. And let's say user start drag element. We have first element created called but the event create and the element the event start it called when we start dragging as you can see. Let's then create event handler for the drag drag three. Users is dragging the element now, and let's let's show to the console the current offset of the current offset. Of the dragging element. Let's create a variable offset one equal equal UI. This is UI represent the dragged element. This element being dragged, and then access the offset parameter, and then access the left. And let's convert this to parse it to integer. This is for the offset left. And let's say the offset right uh, top to take the top. As I said, this offset is relative to the document to the document so and then let's write left position right position the 
top position top position well let's see what happened here element created and see the drag event fired when I drag the element as I place here the position here and top position is here and finally let's call start the stop event and under by on let's say stop it and when I release the rugged element it says stop thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and see you the next video thank you